effort to lift the extremely heavy cars off the freeway picked up steam today, but the freeway could still be closed for days to drivers heading south to Portland. We have live team coverage of the derailment. But we begin with Chris Holmstrom in DuPont, Washington, where the NTSB just gave us new information about their investigation. Chris? Yeah, at this point, the big question is what caused this train to derail? Well, at this point, we just don't know. There's a lot of questions, but not a lot of answers. That's because this investigation is ongoing. What I can tell you, though, is that the lead agency is the NTSB. The federal investigators are looking at things like the black box, the condition of the tracks, what was going on in the cab for the conductor and engineer, and also speed. In fact, early reports say the train was going 80 miles per hour in an area that was listed as 30 miles per hour. Here's what a spokesperson for the NTSB has to say. Our objective is not just to find out what happened, but to find out exactly why it happened so we can prevent it from happening again. And let me reiterate, too, that we do not determine the probable cause while we are on scene. We also do not speculate about what may have caused this accident. And federal investigators will be out here for the next seven to ten days. Washington Governor Jay Inslee also on scene meeting with investigators. He too has a lot of questions as to what happened, but says we need to wait for the investigation to be complete. As for the cleanup, it is expected to take several days, and until that happens, I-5 in this area will remain closed. Reporting live from DuPont, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin Six News.